Hello everyone and welcome to St Matthew's on Christmas Eve. I'm Jane and I'm here with Holly and Becky. It's Christmas Eve, isn't that exciting? Yay! <laughs> Only one more sleep before Christmas. Now, if you've had an advent calendar, then today is the last window. And those of you who've had chocolate behind your windows, it's the last chocolate. Well, my advent calendar didn't have windows or chocolates. Instead, it made a picture of the stable. And each day in December, I had to add another person or an animal. And today, I add the last one. And this, and this is the baby Jesus. Let me get that carefully out of there. And slot him into the manger. There we are. My picture is complete because we remember that Jesus was born tonight and we're getting ready for all our celebrations tomorrow. And although it's a strange Christmas time this year with the COVID crisis, school plays cancelled or on video, parties and pantomimes cancelled, not being able to meet all our friends and family, despite all this, we can still celebrate tomorrow, still have fun on Christmas Day. Now, I love playing games at Christmas, so I thought we'd start with a what's missing game, and I'm going to show you lots of things, and then I'll take one away and see if you can guess what it is. You need to look carefully, but remember, you can always press the pause button if you need more time. So I'll just run through them all quickly. We've got a sprig of holly, presents, party popper, pudding, candles, baubles, coins, jumper, robin, wreath, a teddy, paper chain, oh, and the turkey, crackers, and those Brussels sprouts, mince pies, hat, radio times, stocking, snowman, and bell. Quite a lot, so have a good look. Right, what's gone? Well, it was the snowman, did you guess? What's missing now? That lovely teddy. Okay, another one's gone this time. The presents, there they are. Ready? What about this time? It's the baubles for the tree. And here in St. Matthews, we've got some amazing baubles on our tree. Now this time you need to look for two things. It was the tree and the paper chain. Well, how did you get on? Did you remember them? Now, our picture was full of lots of lovely Christmassy things. But one thing about Christmas was missing during the whole game. What bit of Christmas wasn't there? Well, of course, it was Jesus. There was nothing about Jesus. Oops. Because the funny thing is that sometimes Jesus gets pushed to one side and accidentally forgotten. But if you know anything at all about Christmas, you'll know it's all about him. Take a look. Okay, so if you know nothing about the Christmas story, here's a quick breakdown of some of the people. First, there's Jesus, God's son, born to save the world. Christmas is a day all about celebrating his birth, so he's pretty much the most important guy to know. And this is Jesus' mother, Mary. She was visited by an angel. First thing he told Mary was, don't be afraid. Why did he say that? Because angels are basically God's special ops super strong soldiers, so chances are he was real scary. Anyway, he told Mary not to be afraid and that she was going to have a baby, God's baby. Cool, except Mary was engaged to this guy, Joseph, a carpenter, a good guy who was probably probably pretty confused about this whole Mary having God's baby thing. So, God sent another angel to tell Joseph, dude, it's okay, marry Mary. Marry her and name the baby Jesus. So these two ended up in Bethlehem where Mary had a baby. And that baby was, dun da da da, Jesus. Bethlehem was super full, so Mary and Joseph had to stay in a stable, basically a barn. And Mary had to keep Jesus in a manger. Basically, his bed was what animals ate their dinner out of. 
kind of gross. You need to know a few other people too. These guys were shepherds. They were minding their own business, watching their sheep when an angel told them God's son had been born and they should visit him. It was a big deal that God told the shepherds first because people thought shepherds were smelly and unimportant. Also these guys, the Magi. From a long way away they saw a star in the sky and knew it meant something important had happened. So they followed it for months and months and months until it led them to Jesus. They brought him sweet gifts. So those are the people you need to know about. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, the scary but kind angel, the shepherds, and the Magi. And then of course, there's this guy. Well, that was the quick version. And in a minute, we'll look at the story more closely. But now we have a song that helps us remember that everything that was going on that first Christmas night was planned by God. Because Christmas was God's idea. There's the strangest feeling in the air tonight There's something going on but I can't make it out I wonder what it's all about Starlight Breaking through the darkness in the dead of night Illuminates a path that takes you out of sight And all the way to Bethlehem Tonight's events were planned in heaven The greatest story ever penned Heaven and earth have come together And life has come to Bethlehem Angels taking care of things that only they can do Are waiting in the wings to bring the joyful going to turn the world around strangers having made arrangements for a night or two have found accommodation in the crowded rooms the house is packed in bethlehem tonight's events were planned in heaven the greatest story ever penned come together and life has come to Bethlehem Shepherds minding their own business looking after things are startled by an unexpected happening as angel choirs appear to them Wise men Taking charts and telescopes and compasses Investigate the star that takes them travelling Until they come to Bethlehem Tonight's events were planned in heaven The greatest story ever penned Heaven and earth have come together And life has come to Bethlehem Life has come to Bethlehem. So God planned everything. And as we look at what happened to all these different characters in the story, the angels, the shepherds, and the wise men, we will see that Jesus is right in the center of this story, the greatest story ever told. For this is not a once upon a time story. This is not pretend. It's real. It's true, and that's what makes it so wonderful. Let's listen now. The very first Christmas was long, long ago. A young woman called Mary had started to grow. She didn't know why, but she heard something scary. An angel called Gabriel had said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. I bring you great joy. You're going to give birth to a special wee boy. You will be mother to God's only son, the Saviour, the Messiah, the Promised One. Mary was speechless. She didn't know how. These things could have happened, but to God she did bow. The angel then made an appearance to Joe, who was worried when Mary had started to grow. 
But Gabriel said, You may find this odd, but trust me, these things are all coming from God. Mary is carrying God's only Son, the Saviour of all, the Promised One. So call his name Jesus, he's your maker in skin. He's come now to save all his people from sin. So Joseph decided to stay by her side and promised that Mary would still be his bride. Meanwhile, great Caesar Augustus in Rome had made a decree, all return to your home. For Joseph, this ruling meant Bethlehem town. So they rode on their donkey all the way down. Arriving in Bethlehem, Mary was blooming. But try as they might, no hotels had room in. They asked one innkeeper, please, are you able? The innkeeper said, oh, well, use my stable. So Jesus was born in a cold cattle shed and a manger became his king-sized bed. Now out in the fields an angel appeared to shepherds who cowered and all of them feared. The angel said, peace, I bring you good news. The Saviour is born, so put on your shoes. Hurry to town, there is no danger. It's a baby you seek, laid in a manger. Just at that point, a heavenly throng arrived in great glory and praised God in song. So the shepherds all hurried to old Bethlehem to look on the baby who'd been born for them. Away in the east there lived some wise men who followed a star wherever it went. They knew it would lead them to worship the king. So gold, frankincense and myrrh they did bring. So gathered around that wee baby boy, all people are welcome to know heaven's joy. From angels to donkeys, from shepherds to kings, the little Lord Jesus, God's welcome he brings. He came to our darkness from heaven above. He stooped to the crib and the cross out of love. He shared in our weakness and darkness and mess, and still he loved us, nevertheless. No one's left out by this God become small. So have a blessed Christmas this year, one and all. is what happened on the very first Christmas, 2,000 years ago. The Christmas story is about the coming of Jesus as a baby in the manger. A baby who was God's son, sent to be our saviour and king. But Jesus came from God to show us what God is like and to show us how much God loves us. You see, the friendship between God and people had broken down when people had decided to do their own thing and put God on one side. When we want to be in charge of our lives and live just as we like. Well, it's no good for us living like that because it leads to all the mess, to all the lying and hatred and greed. And in the end, it leads to darkness and death. But Jesus came to show us how we could restart the friendship with God. He's called the saviour because he is the rescuer 
who saves us from the results of the choices we make when we live as though we're in charge. And he did that by giving his life for us. He died on the cross to defeat sin and death. He took the results of all our wrongdoing on himself so we don't have to bear it. It's dealt with. And instead he offers forgiveness to those who trust in him. And then he returned gloriously to life so that we can know that we will have life forever with him after death. So isn't that fantastic? Isn't that the most wonderful story? And he has come for all of us, whether we are eight months old or eight or 18 or 80, Jesus is there for us. He's bringing God's light and life and hope and love. No one is left out. So Christmas is really a huge birthday party for this amazing saviour, Jesus. So let's put Jesus right at the centre of our Christmas, just as he was right at the centre of that very first Christmas. Sing a song of Christmas, a baby in the hay. Sing a song of Jesus, born on Christmas Day. Sing a song of Shem. Angel said to them, Go and see the Savior who is born in Bethlehem. Sing a song of wise men following a star, bringing gifts to Jesus, traveling so far. Sing a song for Jesus lying in the hay, born to make us happy, born for us on Christmas Day. And it was God who planned it all, so we are going to talk to him now. We can't see him, but he can hear us. I will say, we say, and then we'll all join with, thank you God, and put our thumbs up like this. So let's practice. We say, thank you God. Let's pray. Dear God, for all the fun we have at Christmas time, we say, Thank you, God, for the trees and lights, the treats and presents. We say, thank you, God, for families and friends in our homes, or this year on Zoom and FaceTime. We say, thank you, God, and most of all, for sending Jesus to be our saviour and king. We say, thank you, God. Amen. In our next prayer, we're going to ask Jesus to be with us. So let's stand up, and when I say, Lord Jesus, we'll all say together, we welcome you. Let's practice. Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Into our world this Christmas, Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Into our homes this Christmas, Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Into our lives this Christmas, Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Amen. We're going to sing again, so let's get ready.
Jesus Christ, His Son. We can come to know His love. New day has begun. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Let's give God the praise. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Christ is born today. One more time. Well, we're almost out of time, but just to say there are lots of sessions on our YouTube channel for primary age children and for preschoolers. So if you've just found us this morning, check these out. There are Bible stories and quizzes and songs and crafts. And then in the new year, Sunday Club will be back online on the 3rd of January and preschool praise on the 7th of January. There's also an all-age service on YouTube from St. Matthew's here later today at 4 p.m. and tomorrow at 10 a.m. So enjoy the rest of Christmas Eve and make sure that you sleep well, won't you, so that you'll be ready for tomorrow. And we hope you have a really fun-filled day. And we wish you all a very happy Christmas. Actually, haven't we got a song about that? Mm. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.